the recent announcement of the Trails in the Sky FC remake of the Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase, obviously a lot of Trails fans are very excited to jump right back on in to Liberal in 3D, HD, every beautiful crispy detail. Unfortunately though, at the English version of the Partner Showcase, they did not show a lot about it. They really only showed about like 10-15 seconds of it. Although the Japanese version did show a little more, which I'll go into later. But man, oh man, does it look really, really good. And that leads us to the point of this video. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to go through all the details that Falcon has showed us so far in the remake. And there's a little bit more outside of the trailers we got to see, such as a couple websites and some other sources that reported on it that I'll be also showing in this video as well. So without further ado, let us dive right back in to the kingdom of Liberal. Here we are at the first source that I want to talk about in the video, and that is Falcom's official website of the remake. There it is. It looks beautiful. Estelle and Joshua, they look really, really good. And obviously, of course, this is all in Japanese, so I cannot read this. And there, there's a trailer of it, the Japanese trailer of it, which I'll show a little bit later. I believe that's just uh, talking about Estelle and Joshua and the story of the game. This is talking about the areas, the combat. You know, classic RPG stuff, and of course the release date at 2025, and with it being a Nintendo Switch, I'm sure it'll come out on other platforms. I highly doubt it'll just be on the Switch, because Trails has been on PlayStation and Steam since, for like, forever. So, I would expect announcements of those platforms to come pretty soon. And obviously, of course, with the biggest thing with this remake being part of the Kiseki Trails in Japanese 20th Anniversary Project, which is really, really cool, celebrating the 20th anniversary of the franchise, and man... Of course, what an amazing series it is. Thanks to Google Translate here, we can see a little more uh, info, I guess, on the website here. Although, obviously, Google Translate is not 100% accurate, so, of course, everything that's going to be showed here is not uh, the identical word-for-word -word, uh, that Falcon put on the website, but, of course, here we go. Remake Project in Progress, Remake Project, the origin of the Trails series, Trails in the Sky FC is now available in full remake. Already off the bat, there we go, through drawing can. I, I know for sure Falcom did not mean to put that in the website. That's just Google Translate being Google Translate. But for the most part, it's just saying, you know, of course, the protagonists are Estelle and Joshua, two uh, people who are training to become bracers, and they travel around the kingdom of Liberal, solving all sorts of requests and cases and around the places they visit, and all sorts of that cool stuff. This part of the website is a little more clear. We've got the world of Trails on the Sky full 3D recreated. This is a full remake of Trails in the Sky FC, and the setting of the adventure, The Kingdom of Liberal, is completely recreated in 3D. And I know I've touched on this already, but oh my god, it just looks so good. It looks so good. Uh, moving from the field to the town is now seamless, and you can experience the world of Trails in the Sky. Uh, realisms. It's a very generous production. I That part's probably wrong as well, but everything else about it was right for the most part. And lastly, here it goes, talking about the battle system. Of course, in uh, classic Trails tradition, well, since <laughs> Sky was the one that started it all anyways, uh, you know, the battles with arts, and uh, I don't think it talks about crafts, but those as well, and just pretty much saying down at the bottom there, the intuitive and easy-to-understand controls mean that even those who have never played an RPG before can enjoy the game without stress. That, of course, is really, really cool for new people who want to get in this series, because as much as I love the Sky games, uh, you can tell they are definitely getting a little dated, kind of. Like, it's not terrible, but it's, you can still see, like, a, it hasn't aged entirely well, mostly for the combat. Everything else, for the most part, is fine. The last thing from the remake website that I want to show off is the trailer they had there. So let's get right on into this, because there's a few things I want to talk about that they show in the trailer. Some things I kind of already showed in, like, the beginning of the video, just little glimpses of it, but I want to fully talk about it later here. Look at that, the beautiful, bright family house off the uh, side of Roland. Look at the drawers, the walls, and the clock tower in the middle of Roland, and it's Roland itself. It looks so good. Look at the clock. Look at the, the rooster sign on top. Look at the world of Liberal. Sorry, the uh, the kingdom. Man, when they start kicking in this whereabouts of light, like orchestrated version, the first time I heard this, the chills I got. Oh my god. Here we go. This is the first thing I want to talk about. Uh, I love that they do this, by the way. Uh, they show a side by side comparison of the original game compared to the remake and it's it's like night and day look it's like it's so cool like just the colors and just the camera angles and everything like just going from kind of like uh, the top down kind of look that the original had to like fully like 3d and like being able to see every side every angle every color every juicy detail it's, just, it's so cool and especially when they have Estelle uh, 
rolling on into Roland uh, here. Putting away the staff, look at that. Oh my God, that's so cool. Walking around. Got another comparison shot with the Air Force. With some more dialogue. Dialogue comparison as well. Got Estelle Joshua and Sherizard off in like chapter one. And the combat, I want to talk a little bit more about the combat. I noticed that uh, it's kind of going for like a turn-based action style kind of hybrid, which I thought is pretty cool. And apparently, I think I've heard that uh, Trails Through Daybreak kind of introduced that style to the series. It's just that I haven't gotten to Daybreak yet, so I have not seen that. I'm on Reverie currently, so, and I'm enjoying it a lot. So uh, I thought that the Sky remake was doing this for like the first time, which I was wrong about, but it's still cool to see them doing that anyway, it's just in the sky. They've got the arts menu. I think that's like Firebolt. Looks very sick. These pictures over here I want to talk about as well. This is um, walking outside the uh, the first of the um, tetracyclic, or tetracyclic, whatever they were called, uh, towers over there. Look at like the colors of the grass, the, uh, the fly enemies going around the cave here. This is like the top of the tower overlooking Liberal over there. So beautiful, man. Of course, another uh, shot of Sherizard there. And some even more details. I believe this is the Kingfisher Inn, I think. Like, look at that sunset and the umbrella and the trees and the water and just the planks, the details on the planks. I believe up here we got the Malga Mine and look how cool the rocks there look. Super cool. And I believe down here is the scene um, with the uh, furball monsters attacking the, uh, the farm outside Roland as well. I'm sorry if I'm misremembering some names. It's been a little bit since I last played the Sky Games. But just seeing it all in HD again. Oh my god. Amazing. There we go. Got Roland's receptionist girl, which I forgot her name too. I'm very sorry about that. But I'll have a text box with her name right here. And of course, showing off what I showed earlier. Stell and Joshua looking so good. Look at them in their first game outfits. Del walks around, showing off a flying ship, like, look how cool that is! While walking around the world, you get to see, like, things moving in the sky, like, that is so cool, I love that. That's awesome. And ending it here with, like, a recreation of the, uh, very first Sky Games box art with them, and <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh my god, I can't wait for this remake to come out. Got my next source that I want to talk about right over here at uh, rpgsite.net, so uh, I guess shout out to these guys for uh, making this um, article on the remake, because uh, it was this article that I actually kind of found out a bit of some uh, cool things that I'll talk about when I get to reading this, and damn, I'm very sorry for all the ads around there. Uh, apparently, I thought I had an ad blocker, but I guess not, so uh, I'm very sorry if that's distracting, but here we go, their article on uh, the remake, The Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky, the first launches worldwide in 2025. So uh, thank you, James uh, Galiz Galizio. I hopefully I pronounced that right. If I didn't, I'm very sorry. So let's get started. Uh, Falcom has officially announced The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the first. According to the announcement, the remake is currently set to release for Nintendo Switch in 2025. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm pretty sure it will come out on PlayStation and Steam as well. And no other platforms are mentioned. Additionally, Falcom does not mention any details about the English version, such as distributor or price. The title is also listed as a tentative title. But they showed the game at in English, Nintendo Direct, so it'll come out in English as well. Uh, here we go, August 27th. During today's a Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase, Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the First, a full remake of the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky FC will be released worldwide in 2025. The game is currently announced for Nintendo Switch, though other platforms are likely to be announced in the near future. Here we go. Uh, these pictures are actually the thing I want to talk about here a little bit. In addition to the reveal trailer released on the Japanese Nintendo account above, we've also received a number of English screenshots. We checked out some of the lines on the English screenshots through Trails in the Database, which shout out to Trails in the Database for uh, translating these pictures here, and it appears that the game will be based on Xseed's translation for Trails in the Sky FC. We don't know yet who's handling the localization, but we'll be sure to learn more in the weeks and months to come. I'm pretty positive that NIS America, the company that has translated, like, all of the Trails games since uh, Cold Steel 3, they'll probably be handling the uh, Sky uh, remake as well as all the other games. Now, let's get into these pictures uh, with the English translation. Here we go, of Estelle and Joshua fighting the Rhino Cider with the um, arts Firebolt EX, Spiral Flare, Volcanic Rave, and Airstrike. 
Very cool on the arts menu over there. And here we got the <laughs> more of a showcase of the um the scene at the farm with Estelle screaming at him, the little fur ball that he is. <laughs> and my god, that guy looks even fuzzier in the remake. I love it. Here we go. Another picture of Estelle walking around with a ship flying overhead. A picture of Roland with a Sherizard as well. More combat uh, pictures. I think that was in the trailer. And this picture, this is the picture that I mostly want to talk about. With Estelle saying, let's get to it and make it through this last hazing with Shara. Obviously this scene is from the very beginning of the game where uh, Estelle and Joshua are taking on Sherizard's little test to see if they're ready to jump into the world of being bracers by starting off as junior bracers. And just like this article was talking about, if this remake really is uh, using the uh, Exceeds translation of this as its like base, then that's going to lead to a lot of very memorable and golden scenes from the Sky games that could potentially be seen in the remake. And I'm going to be very excited to uh, see how they portray them in this if that ends up being true. Some of these banger lines from Estelle right here. We can't forget about these classics like Time for Ultra Violence, <laughs> Urge to Kill Rising, I'll remind you that I have a very large stick, and so on, so on. <laughs> Man, if the localization for the remake has these scenes, I'm going to be one very happy Trails fan. And that about wraps things up here for uh, all I wanted to talk about with the remake. I went ahead and searched through some more articles and all sorts of stuff to see if I was missing any more details. And for what I was looking at, I don't think I missed anything. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. I normally don't make videos like this, so... I'm sorry if uh, there were any kind of like whatever kind of problems there were that happened. It might have happened. It's the first time I've ever really done like a kind of like analysis talk video, but I had a lot of fun doing it. And especially so because it's Trails. I love Trails to death. I love this franchise so much. And when I heard they were making a remake of Sky FC thanks to the Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase, I was like, oh my god, I gotta talk about this. When more details come our way from the remake, if anyone wants me to do even more like talk videos about it, I'd be totally down to do so because I had a lot of fun doing this, like I said. I'd totally be down to do this once again. So thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see y'all later. Happy traveling, Zemirians.